in programming user defined objects are frequently defined or created by a user for example user may create or define variables may create his own functions okay may name his own constants so when a user defines objects like variables functions constants they need to adhere to a certain rules and regulations in terms of how you can name them and what names are sensible to the compiler so suppose i have a variable called as let's say i've got a variable all right and let's assume this is the memory location okay i give it the name number okay let's say this value is zero so the names given to a variable or a function by the users are called as identifiers identifiers are user given names to objects like variables and functions now there are certain rules for naming user defined objects or variables in c so in order to name identifiers they are called identifiers because when you give a name to a variable you are able to identify a memory location that's why your it's called as an identifier the very first rule with c is the names are case sensitive this name max this is very different from this is different from this these are all three different names according to the c compiler also names need to follow certain rules each name or each identifier name or each object name should be unique you cannot have a variable constant and a function with the same name you cannot say int num on one line and you cannot say float num on the next line this is not acceptable they all got to be different okay and again just be aware that the names are case sensitive generally all the c compilers which follow the ansi standard will recognize the first 31 characters of a name as unique that means the first 31 characters will be recognized as unique if you write two variables with the same first 31 characters you are going to get an error saying that the both variable names are the same this is the standard restriction on most standard compilers so the first 31 characters or that is generally the length you should restrict your variable names to now a few important rules the name of a variable must always start with a character alphabet between a to z upper case or lower case after that it can be followed by an underscore it can be followed by a number okay or it can be followed by other letters or characters you can start a variable name with an underscore although it's allowed in c but it's not a great idea because lot of c library functions name their own variables starting with the underscore so this can lead to a problem when you are debugging or examining your code you will may get confused which is your code and which is the code of c library now there are certain conventions these are not rules preferably use lower case for all identifiers like integer i j this will be lower case name of functions will be lower case but if you are defining symbolic constant or macros use upper case for example hash define pi pi is chosen as upper case if your names are really long it is better to separate it by an underscore or a special character for example income tax let me not write i i capital suppose i have to name a variable called income tax i can say income underscore tax this is more readable than this word income tax this is more difficult to read some people even prefer this convention they can write income and then they can write tax so you are okay with this or this although i generally prefer having all variables in lower case so if they are long separate them by certain underscore character now you cannot give the names of variables like if else int float etc these i have special meaning to the c compiler and are called as reserved words i cannot declare a variable like this i cannot say int float is equal to 0 this is going to give you a compiler error because float has a special meaning in c that's why it's called as a reserved words 
Now, based on what I have told you, there are certain rules for valid and invalid variable names. I'm just going to show you a small set which should give you a brief idea of which are valid and which are not invalid. This is a valid role, role number name because it's separated by an underscore, begins with alphabet, no, no problem. Total bill, this is also perfectly fine. Character gender, this is also perfectly fine. This is not good because you have started it with the number. You are supposed to start it with some alphabet. This is again not okay because there is a dot after the F, although some languages allow this. This is again bad because there is a comma after the F. So just run through these slides and get a feel of how you should name identifiers because this is the fundamental to good programming habits. If you write meaningful variable names, your program is going to become self-readable without having to write a lot of documentation.